I received information which was then confirmed on Whole Earth Network and via Dr. Catherine May, who exactly the same information. And the information I received was this, that approximately two weeks ago, there was going to be a, a council meeting in the universe. And attending the council meeting was Prime Source Creator, Mother, Father, God, who are the mass consciousnesses of the entire galaxy, who is the, the male aspect, of course, being the suns, and the female aspect being the Earth-like planets. They were attacked on the way to a council meeting by nuclear and scalar weapons. Sananda, who you know as Jesus, was injured, but so was Catherine May. This caused Prime Creator to really, how can we put it, lose his rag. And he made the decision. He gave the cabal and all the members of the cabal instructions that they got seven days to turn to the light of face being dissolved. That means the complete destruction of their souls and their higher selves and bodies. If you don't understand that, let me explain this. There are 12 dimensions of existence. And when we're in the physical body, we're in the four lower ones. When we die, we move to the fifth dimension. And our orb, which is our personality containing all your information, moves into the fifth dimension to then learn the lessons and then come back again. Now, when they demanded this, Five million plus souls turned up to go to the higher dimension. They were taken into the light. Now for those that think they're going to get away with what they've done, this is their teachings and knowledge. First of all, you have to understand there is no time. So in the higher dimensions, they can be there for years and then could be put back in their bodies within minutes. So it appears that they've only been away for a short time. But in the meantime, they are going to have to face every single thing that they have done in their entire life and lifetimes in real time and at the point of being the victim. So everything they've done to other people and other aspects is going to have to face every one of those in all of the lifetimes in real time. So if they have hundreds of lives as the negative elements, then they're going to have to face it. Most of us here are very lucky on the point that when we die, we don't just go to the lower fourth dimension, we go into the higher levels and come face to face with the light of the consciousness of creation, or God, or Jesus, if you like. They have not done that. The negative elements of the cabal have recycled into the fourth, higher fourth dimension and thus have not met the light, which has allowed them to continue to do what they've done lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. And of course, this is what we understand. We don't have that. Most people who are not of the dark don't realize that. So these are now on approach to go to the higher levels. They were absolutely terrified. They were all expecting to go to hell, to be destroyed. And when the light came and showed them, they were terrified. Now, already at least 250 of those 5 million plus have now come back to the earth in the fifth dimension and re-entered their bodies. And I will assume that very quickly, the others will do as well. So now you're going to have light workers inhabiting the bodies of the five million of the worst of all the cabal members. So the moment that you're asking for is now. It's what we've all worked for, to change the minds of the highest levels. There are a few who didn't go up, and those are going to be, or have already been dissolved. So we expect them to die off. And you might find one or two of the top leaders of the people that we understand as cabal members may suddenly pass away. That's because their souls and higher selves have been taken away and they have been dissolved. However, you've got over five million of them who are learning 
who are going through the pain, who will come back again and will be the controlling element of all of us. This is what we've all worked for, this is what we've all waited for. So if you want to go onto the internet, put in who needs light, click on to Catherine May's website and follow the information on YouTube or a Facebook site. Catherine May, Who Needs Light, Facebook, and there you'll see the information showing you the five lots of channeling that have gone exactly the same as I've tried to reduce into a few seconds. So I've got news for you. I think you'll all be dancing in the street within a few weeks' time. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you.